first things first, with this brand new update, we got a new edit style for the Azuki outfit. Did we need a fifth edit style here? I don't know if we did, but this is what it looks like. And you know what? Free 99, I'll take it. We can now also preview these bonus styles for the battle pass outfits. Um, this like emerald green looks pretty cool to me. Not gonna lie, page six here, more of a blue. Actually, don't mind the color scheme here either. At least it's not just a crazy all out gold, all out, you know what I mean? Like they actually look pretty well put together this season for like these super styles, bonus styles. Um, not super crazy about this purple, but that emerald, and that blue looked really clean to me. In terms of the item shop, we have a brand new drum set called the Playing Mantis. Another gimmick drum set. They do this more often than they don't. Um, the only downside is it looks like the drum shells are trying to render in still. It looks a little corny. I don't know if it's just supposed to look like that. For a thousand V-Bucks, mm, I don't know. Roll up emo here. Thank you, Michael great as always and then a guitar as well here for a thousand v bucks mm, i don't know i was really pumped for the fender collab that they did recently and this i'm not that pumped about it <laughs> i think i'm just boring with instruments for sure and now we have the silence is golden bundle for 1400 v bucks we have the dynamic hush outfit which does have an additional edit style labeled as gold although it just kind of looks yellow to me it's not super reflective to really look like gold it is what it is lego counterpart as well looks fine the hair looks really good back bling is hush's hard case nothing super exciting here personally to me and then the harvesting tool silent sting at least it's not a default impact i'll give it that it's not a default impact supporter creator p i z zero pieces with a zero you know we're getting it baby hit the explosion where is it where is it there it was but we're not done yet. We can now preview some of these Korra cosmetics coming very soon in seven days to be exact to include a learning screen here. A contrail looks great. A spray, it's just a filler for now. You know what you're doing. A weapon wrap here, not reactive, not animated to my knowledge. Harvesting tools, give them a swing. Okay, we've heard that sound before. I'm pretty sure, of course we have Korra here. And then page two, we have an I don't know right there. Emoticon animated, by the way. This backbling is really nice. Really enjoy that. The glider as well. I mean, Aang uses it as well. So very, very cool glider there. And then we have an emote. Avatar's flourish. Yeah, that is cool. And then this balanced style, which looks pretty aggressive. And then of course we have the Lego counterpart as well for Korra. I'm not sure if Fortnite hates me or it's like this for every chapter five season two weapon in creative, but they still don't look correct in terms of no magazine inserted into the weapon, no iron sights, no nothing here. But I am using the bandage wrap for this gameplay. ADS is fine. Very slim character model here. No problems. No problems whatsoever. And then for my actual glider, I'm using the Chrome Brella. I do have the Chrome Seed Backling in the combo showcase as well, because this is an interesting color scheme. Um, initially, I thought it was just black and white, but it is like a grayish purple, black and white, which makes it a little interesting for combos. And then we have red on the backling as well, equip and equip. Nothing crazy there. Nothing crazy for a streak. But at least the impact is not default. It does have that directional impact as well, depending on which direction you're swinging it from, which is cool. Um, pretty basic here, but it does have a, like, I do like the impact. That white impact looks nice. It would have been pretty boring with our basic default, like spark, actual impact, but hitting opponents as well. Pretty expected on the harvesting tool, nothing crazy there. What's interesting about this color scheme is the fact that it's not necessarily a black and white. It's like a grayish blue, very unsaturated purple and white mixed in with some black. So I think, you know, some of these blades, Katana's like really clean on her for sure. Iron Cage, you can see how it's kind of like a bluish tint on her shorts and like her gloves, her shoes. So it's an interesting color scheme. It's not super confusing, but I think you can use some cool stuff here to include the all white style as well there. 
Same thing here. I know these are both from the same set, um, both of these back blings, but they still look really clean here. I have no problems with those. And then we have the Chrome Seed. Um, it's a very simple back bling. I love how it just kind of floats there. Signal Jammer is a little bulky. And then what it came with here, it does have some red. I didn't stretch red for my combos because she does have red eyes, but the back bling does have red as well on it, just in case you were curious, George. I am all over the place with outfits with this back bling here. I don't know what I wanna really use it on here, if it makes sense, if the color scheme is there. I think it's close on Grimoire with like that purplish. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know, guys. It's it's an interesting color scheme for sure. It was a lot easier to put back blings on the original outfit. Now I'm finding it a little difficult here <laughs> to find things that I like because of the color scheme. And then now that you can see that red, it makes it a little bit more difficult to make things look like it belongs, if that makes sense. I don't know. We tried, though. I do like it on Paradigm, though. Paradigm always has quite a few different colors you can use in terms of combo, so I think that's probably my favorite. Heist is not terrible. This is what it came with here, obviously. We have Crystal in the house. Looks pretty clean on her. We have Marius as well. I always say that. I don't know why I say it like that, but I do. And then Verge here. Probably my favorite. Gotta be the Paradigm. It just makes sense with those little grenades, flash grenades, whatever you want to call them, flash bangs, and the color scheme. Looks great. So with this gold style, I'm gonna call it yellow because it really doesn't look all that gold to me, even in game here. I do have some gold items to include the banana axe here, which you can see um, just even in the sun here, it's not as bright as the outfit appears. Um, there's not a lot of metallic on the outfit as well to actually classify it as gold. And this is the greed weapon wrap, which might be one of the brightest golds we have for a wrap and you can see it's even darker than the actual outfit itself so i think if you wanted to play it safe like i'm going to with my glider here just go with a black counter for your cosmetics because matching this yellow <laughs> is a little bit more difficult than i thought in terms of my weapon wraps i'm calling it yellow so i will admit i might have been a little too negative on this current edit style it does look more gold in my locker here in terms of like a reflective gold um, somewhat metallic and this is more of back blinks to show you a reference in terms of what color gold it is because you might not have all of these different back blinks to test what gold it is so that's kind of what i'm doing here with these different gold back blings golden guard is pretty close to what we need here in terms of like a brighter gold this looks fun minus like whatever is wrapped around the case with that blade there um this is kind of fun as well here add some red good to go Fresh Catch is very close to what I'm looking for. Somewhat metallic back bling as well. 2020 Kickflip here just as a reference in terms of what colors we're looking for. This is the gold we need, but this blue kind of throws it off for me. Oral Soul looks really fun here. Kind of gets lost, though it looks so good. Shattered Hope is fun, but I don't wear wings all that much. El Dorado is too dark. Just in terms of a, a reference for you guys. Wrong turn as well here. Looks good. Carbon Style. Competitive Crest is kind of fun here. Obviously, it looks different from different um, reflections of light. And then we have the Moto Case. If I had to pick one to wear, it would probably be Oral Soul. I know it's boring. Or like one of these blades up here. Deadpool Katanas can't go wrong. A high frequency blade as well. Oral Soul, I just, I like it. It's the color I'm looking for too. I like it. I'm sorry. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Only if you enjoyed it. So put your creator P-I-Z-0 in Adam Shop. And we'll see you on the live stream soon. I'm telling you, soon.